I've got to watch that again. It's shit like that cracks me up. Hello everyone, welcome in. My name is Kai Zamit. I'm a director, cinematographer and writer based in the South of the UK. And today in this video, thanks to you guys and a very special thank you to my boy out in Florida. You know who you are. We're going to be checking out Helldivers 2, the intro cinematic. If you're new to the channel, how I like to do these things is first I watch the cinematic, give you my reaction. Then afterwards, I break it down as a filmmaker. I look at it again. Is it the video editing? Is it the directing? I never know what I'm going to talk about because every cinematic hits me differently. And sometimes I talk about the good things. Sometimes I talk about the bad things. The good thing about it is it's where I get to share my thoughts and opinions on the cinematic that we're watching today and hopefully get to learn something along the way. So with all that said and done, play the tape. Okay, straight up into a news report. I heard this is very like Starship Troopers. Super Earth, our home. I love Prosperity. Paul Verhoeven. God, I can never say his name. Paul Nobody. Verhoeven's work. Hi there. Democracy. That is great. Our way of life. It's like a commercial. Uh, hello. Hello. <laughs> but freedom doesn't come free. Oh. No. Sweet liberty. No. <laughs> oh, this is this is very Starship Troopers. <laughs> Look familiar? Scenes like these are happening all over the galaxy right now. He's you nice. could be next. That is, unless you make the most important decision of your life. Prove to yourself that you have oh, the strength a nice match cut. and the courage to be free. Join the Helldivers. This divers. is wicked. Become part of an elite peacekeeping force. <laughs> this is Starship Troopers. This is Paul. It's Paul's work. See exotic new life forms. <laughs> And spread manic I love it. democracy throughout <laughs> the galaxy. Sticking it in. Become a hero. Become I love it. A legend. Golden hour. Become it's powerful. A hell diver. That was. Oh, it's so short. It's such a shame that it's so short. But that was awesome. That was Starship Troopers. That was Paul. That was very clearly inspired by Paul Verhoeven's work. Yeah, I absolutely love that. Let's, uh, let's break that down. <laughs> Jesus, that was good. So straight away, I absolutely love this. To me, this just reeked of Starship Troopers, and I love that. I love Paul Verhoeven's work as well. Robocop is actually one of my favourite films. What makes it good is it's believable. And that sounds ridiculous because it's a comedy. Let's be real. It's completely just fabricated, just nonsense. Even... They take the piss out of themselves, don't they, when they do it. But what he was good at, what he still is good at, is his work is believable with the news reports. Just everything is, it just, they're very believable characters. However, they love breaking the fourth wall. Straight away, you know what you're in for. You, you, the fact is like super earth. It just, that news report, they did the same thing with uh, Robocop. It had that. That same vibe starts with OCP news report. And if I remember correctly, Starship Troopers also started the same way. I think basically it's world building and that's what they're doing here. But it's a great way to draw you in. And then we get the cinematic commercial coming. Super Earth, our home. Because even though you know where we are, because it's obviously it's Earth, our home. But the fact that they're showing you, they're telling you where it is, even though a lot of it, I assume, is out in space, the fact that we're starting with our home ground, which is, is Earth. Prosperity. Okay, here we go. So we've got more world building. We're starting with our establishing shot. And look at the time of day that they're filming it or shooting it. It's obviously golden hour, early morning or late evening. But for us, we know it's early morning. But and the reason why you do this, if you're ever doing a, if you're a drone pilot or you like doing drone photography, do it at this time of the day because look at these shadows. You get nice long shadows. And what that does, it creates texture. And that's exactly why you want to film at this time of day or at the end of the day. If you film sort of noon time, it's awful, awful because your shadows are going to be tiny and it just looks absolutely rubbish. But with this, you get this lovely gold, golden hour. It's fantastic. Liberty, 
Hi there. Love it. <laughs> Hi there. there. Right, okay. I've got to talk about this part because I actually work in commercials, okay? So that is my background. All my commercials are films, hence the reason I'm a filmmaker, okay? But for this, it's the lighting of this very high key lighting. Yes, it has a low key part of it, as in they got some shadows here, but with commercials, this looks literally like a, a very Americanized commercial. The fact that because of the lighting, you've got the major light over here, lighting up your subject, got a bit of shadow here. It literally, I watch tons of commercials because I have to for work, but also it allows me to get better at what I do. But in the commercials that I make, I do the same lighting, but they obviously push a little bit more to the American audience with this. And I love it. It literally looks like a commercial. Our way of life. Oh. What's also good as well is you've got the voiceover, okay? You've got the voice of God telling you, giving you tidbits of information. That's what you want to use a voiceover for. It's there to feed you little bits of information, not give you the whole story. And obviously for us, we know it, this is the character whose voiceover it is. It just kind of ties everything together really nicely. I really like it. Hello. Okay, so we've got our second establishing shot. So we know exactly where we are. So we've got the main one to tell us what we're on earth. Then we're in a city in a suburban area. And now we're in this area. It just helps feed you all the information. Look at this, look at all these harsh shadows. And this golden hour. I love it. I know it's all CGI, but the fact is they thought about the lighting to make it look more like a commercial. So more of an ad. And I really like that. I love this little bit as well. Because normally it'd be those bloody yellow and red cars that you get but because this is meant to be the future of the fact they've got it as a starship I, I, yeah it's little little bits of writing like that that really anchor it and it makes it a little bit more believable but also you're able to take the mick with it but freedom <laughs> this bit let me go back Hello. five but freedom mate that is harsh the fact that there's a a kid, <laughs> like, he's really happy. But what a great way to introduce a terror that's coming in. You see the shadow of it with the audio. That is how you introduce a character or the problem, should we say. You hear it and you see a silhouette of it first. But I knew it was a comedy oh, doesn't because of this shot here. The fact that he broke the fourth wall. So a fourth wall, if you don't know, okay, is the wall, the lens here. This is the fourth wall, me talking to you directly. Okay, so this is what Deadpool is very famous for and loads of other films. They break, you break the fourth wall. And by doing that, it, it changes the dynamics of the story. But this one shot changed everything. It became, I knew it was sort of basically a comedy at this point. But look at the lighting of it. Look, you've got your nice sort of lit from the 45 degree angle. You've got this lovely dark shadowy bit here. It just literally looks like they've had a cinematographer come in and light this from a commercials. They must have done tons of study research on this. Whoever the lighting guy who did this, look, like they've even got the catchment. They want you to look at his eyes. But yeah, come his face. <laughs> Dude, like, that is fucking nasty. And the thing is, because they don't show you the death, it makes it harsher. And that sometimes less is more. You don't have to tell your audience what you need them to see or hear. You can do it all from the imagination. And yeah, it's fantastic. Let me go back five and go into it. But obviously considering watching this, and obviously I haven't seen Starship Troopers for years, I got immediate vibes from it. I don't know. Maybe it was because someone said to me, it was like Starship Troopers, uh, a friend out in Florida who I, was, who I met through the channel. He said, it's like Starship Troopers. And I was like, okay. But I wonder if, I think I'd have got it very quickly. But I definitely got Robocop vibes because Robocop had the same OCP news report at the beginning. But freedom <laughs> I love doesn't that come. Video. <laughs> <laughs> it's that bug. Yeah, it is. I love it. Sweet liberty. This, and again, you can tell it's a bit of a piss take because the way they squirted the blood over him. And obviously he's, t he's terrible acting, which is done on purpose, isn't it? Sweet liberty. No! <laughs> I love it. 
it's so good. It really is. Yeah. I um this has really made me want to watch Starship Troopers again because I love that film and I've not seen it for for years. But look at this. What I really like is the devil in the detail here. Let me go back five. Watch where he comes in. So you get this come up. So you get like this grid, obviously, but then they filter it here to make it look like it is a screen. But just to sell you on the, the believability of it is the reflection here. But look, so you've got your golden lighting here. And then to make it look like he's in a studio lighting, they change to Kelvin. Okay, Kelvin being the color temperature of light. So here you can see that he's obviously, he's got more of the cinematic commercial look. Yes, we're still in the commercial space, but they changed Kelvin to more what I've got here, which is more around about the 5,500 mark to make it look more like a studio lighting. And he's evenly lit. Can you see? We're here. He's got a major color temperature here and a darker shadow here. Still got the nice bloom with a bit of shadow, but it has more of a studio lighting. As in, look at his hair light. Look familiar? Scenes like these are happening all over the galaxy right now. Can I just say here, the... The capture here, the motion capture, is sublime, isn't it? It's getting, it's really getting to that next level now. Is there any more cinematics in this? I'd love to know if there is. If they look like this, I'd be all over it. You could be next. That is, unless you make the most important. The mouth is still a bit. Mouth is the only thing that gives it away, isn't it? With these sort of things. Life. Prove to your that was really nice. Okay, so I mentioned this in the when I was watching it. This is what they call a match cut. A match cut is exactly how it sounds. You're matching the same cut that you just had. OK, so let me go back. Sorry, I'm going to go frame by frame just so I get it bang on. So if you look where his eyes are, yeah, the whole body shape, everything is the same. Obviously, there's a slight change, these airs and that. And obviously, he's got body armor on, but this is what they call a match cut. OK, so it matches literally the next cut. Prove to yourself. And I really you like that. Strength. And I think they changed the lighting of it as well, just to give it a bit more. Yeah, so they make it a little bit more dramatic. So they've darkened in the shadows a lot more here. And they've given him a little bit more of a shadow here and just concentrated more of the overhead lighting. And they've added blue. You see that in the lighting? Lighting tells you everything. Unless you make So if you look here, you've got the more of white 5500. There's a little bit of blue hint there. Or blue hue. Prove to but it's more bluer here, okay? And especially in his body armor. I think they're trying to match this. Yourself that you have the strength and the courage to be free. Join. I love that. When you put the helmet on, they completely changed the tone of his voice. It sounds like it's coming through a voice box. Do you know what? What makes this commercial commercial? What makes this cinematic really good? Do you know what he's selling to me? I said commercial because it sold it to me that it's commercial, is you've got the music, you've got the comedy, you've got the writing of it. I love that. But the fact that you've got loads of, you've got the ambience of the world, but you've got all the foley, foley being the sound of the clothing, the armour, and the change of his voice. I love it. It just makes it look more believable. The Helldivers. Become part of an elite... Okay, so look here. We're in an alien world now. They completely changed their lighting, but they immediately tell you that it's, you're in an alien world, obviously, other than the bugs, but the lighting alone. Look how cinematic it looks. It still looks cinematic, but it's got a commercial vibe. Look at it. It's gorgeous. You've got your depth. You've got your three layers. You've got your foreground. You've got your May ground and you've got your background. OK, so you've got tons of texture in the shots. Look at the time of day or where the sun is. They're giving you loads of shadow here. And look at this. So I've got a bit of dirty framing here because dirty framing, by the way, so imagine this rock formation here wasn't here. It was just him and this was just all desert. That is called clean framing. By having it dirty framing, by putting something in the way and making it dark, or they're, what they're doing is they're blocking part of the frame to get you to look somewhere else. So by putting this here, they're framing this section here, which is leading your eyes to him. And then you go back over here, okay? Peacekeeping force! I love it. To keep the action. Look at the way the camera is. Let me go back five. Peacekeeping. This, by the way, is this stuff here. This is what you call devil in the detail writing. Because it's a bit what I like about Guardians of the Galaxy and things like that. Is it's the little nods that they do to make it more believable, more fun. And like you've got this bug up here just watching. The back five. Become part of an so it comes up. Force. 
It's just all the texture, all the layers. Do you know what I mean? I just love it. Here we go. We've got the bit of action camera. They're moving, but it's not over the top action cam, is it? You notice that? Look, you're still able to see what's going on. It's got that Hollywood stay sort of stabilization to it as you can see the movement but you know it's still action and the camera is telling you that it is action see exotic new life forms and also they're making it a bit more video-esque like and commercial like because they've got things like whip pans in there Do you see that little whip pan he spoke to you directly very close up see so he's talking to you sort of here look at the framing Look at, you've got your logo here. It's just building it up. Look, got lovely shallow depth of field, making it look cinematic, make it a bit more video -y. Exotic new life forms. Exotic new life forms. They're really selling you it. This bit cracked me up because exotic new life forms and it fucking blows it up. That's what I loved about the silliness of Starship Troopers. But then it got very serious, didn't it? Where Paul Verhoeven's work, Verhoeven's work, Grind, it grounds you in reality and the same thing with the news report it comes with the comedy of the ridiculousness of it but actually it's got a very serious tone and this is the same sort of thing <laughs> it's so good and then it whip pans again and then it's just like <laughs> dude awesome <laughs> I've got to watch that again. It's shit like that cracks me up. New life forms. What sells it is time. It's the fact that they give you that breather of him holding the rocket launcher, the RPG, and then there's a gap of silence. Then the goo or the blood falls on him. If you're into comedy or you're writing for comedy, the best thing about comedy is time. It's the air gaps. I watched something recently, uh, I think it was coming to America too, and it was too much. They were leaving the pauses too long and it would just ruined the comedy, the illusion of it. It felt like you're watching a comedy. Does that make sense? Comedy's funny when it's natural and it comes out of nowhere like that does, okay? Just by a few frames. Hold. Makes it more funny. And the sound effects of the sp splattering of the blood. That's how you do comedy. I grew up with Only Fools and Horses, okay? Proper British comedy. One-liners, how to do timing. Perfect. Yeah? Yeah, great. And spread managed. And then look at this. So this is clean framing. So remember I was talking about that earlier? Look, there's nothing here drawing your eyes. You are looking at the entire image. So he's kind of, he's at least a few meters in front. So he almost acts as if you're foreground. You've got your may ground. And you've got your background, triple layers, triple texture. And look at the, and look, every shot is almost golden hour. Why? Because it looks more cinematic and it's more beautiful. It's also softer on the lighting. So rather than getting harsh shadows, the lighting is soft. And especially when it comes to commercials, the rule of thumb is the more money that's been spent on it, softer the lighting. Democracy throughout the galaxy. It's stuff like, again, it's stuff like that, isn't it? He's not even looking. He's not even and looking. And he's talking to you. He's selling it even with a helmet on. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> and why did they They're sticking galaxy. it in the bug. Yeah. Become a hero. And like that, for example, the high five splattering the foley of it. I love it. And to make them look more powerful, because obviously it's an ad, isn't it, to get, your, to get you to recruit Marines is look at the way they're shooting them. They're filming them upright, which means what that does is it gives them a visual power. Okay, you may not realize it, because I've had, I had one of the comment a little while ago saying, how does a camera looking up make someone look powerful? And how does a camera looking down make someone look inferior? It really doesn't. Well, actually it does. It's psychology. We've been doing this for years, okay? Not just me personally, but filmmaking. We use the camera movement and the camera framing to make you feel something. That's our job. That's why we do it. Hero. Look, what I just said, do you think he would look powerful? Okay. Would he look as cool, but would he look as epic as he does if the camera was on level with his eye level? 
No, it wouldn't. Okay, this is why we do it. You are framing them to look a certain way. Anytime you see a firefighter or police or anything where army, anything with power, and you want them to look epic, you shoot from below looking up. The lower the angle, the more epic they look. Sometimes they can look like absolute gods, which you kind of don't want to do. So you kind of do it from like a, almost like a, just a, like a Western view like here. It's just underneath his knees, where normally Western is normally just above the knee. So you can see the gun draw. That's what you call it, like a Western framing. Come a legend. And again, look at that. Look at the lighting. I really like that subtle Come look. See that? The, uh, the jets flew past. Very Michael legend. Bay. But then you see them here. Very, very subtle. Very subtle. But it sells you on the imagery. Love it. Become a hell diver. And look at that. Again, we are shooting below them, looking up. They look epic. Yeah. Look at the nice clean framing. But look, we've got three layers. We've got a foreground here, a may ground, which is our subjects, and then our background, which is the world building that they've created. I felt, yeah, and that's the end, is it? Yeah, I felt that was fantastic. I, I really enjoyed that. And it's, they were clearly inspired, absolutely clearly inspired by a storm, uh, what the fuck is it called? Starship Troopers and Paul Verhoeven's work. And it really tells. They understand it was a comedy, it's a bit of a piss take, but it was shot like a commercial, as in they actually nailed the realism of it because the lighting was perfect. And it still looks cinematic and epic because they use camera positioning correctly or camera movement. And look at the lighting. Look, it just looks incredible, doesn't it? Yeah. You can't go wrong if you do it right. So yeah, do it right the first time. It's obviously going to sell it, isn't it? So yeah, thank you so much for the recommendation. That was absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for being here. It means the absolute world to me. And I really hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something about filmmaking or just enjoyed my reaction and just talking about it. So again, thank you so much for being here and I'll see you on the next one. See you later. Bye-bye. Out of time.